Hello everyone, my name is Mr. N Jersey and welcome to my channel. Now, two weeks ago, I challenged you, the community, to build a career boat here in Stormworks, but with one small twist, you only had 15,000s worth of currency. Well, fast forward two weeks and we've had over 80 submissions for this challenge. Now, in this video, we're going to be having a look at the first five of the top 10 most voted for creations. But before we get started, if you are enjoying my videos, don't forget to like and subscribe button and ring the little bell icon to be notified for my upcoming content as soon as it gets posted. Also, if you're looking to support the channel, maybe consider picking up some of my merch. I've just launched a brand new line of products with a classic NJ logo on them. Just have a look at the link in the video description. So that all said, let's get straight into it and get started with this video. So we're back here at the starter island and it's now time to go and review the first five of the top 10 most voted for creations. Now I've gone and loaded up a career game here and we've limited ourselves over to 15,000s worth of currency. This will allow us to obviously check the creations to make sure that they are meeting their criteria. You can see here if we're going to open up the map we've got 15,000 just in the top right so that means that we'll need to see that if they've built their creation to the rules and also if it has any fuel so let's go and spawn in the first creation that we have over here so we're going to spawn this in perfect and it was was created by the brilliant shadow now overall it looks pretty cool uh looks like it's got a little bit of a crane here another crane at the back here which can actually go and lift down uh, quite nice and spacious too at the same point. Look like I've got a searchlight there. He's got a water cannon that's very useful for firefighting missions. He's got some rope anchors, some ties on the side and just overall a nice large deck which is very useful because obviously you can put cargo on here. Looks like it's quite accessible to get people in here too. Just go up here you can place a few people down uh, and even if you don't have enough seats you can just store them in here and they won't go anywhere because it is closed. Uh, looks like we have a engine room down here so let's go check this out so it looks like it's got some gearboxes a big engine in here and yeah just a few other things i think fuels over there too okay so so far so good looks pretty cool uh, let's go into the back here let's close this so we have crane in and out so crane out okay that's pretty useful i can see that being very useful for picking up things like anchors and things winch up down we then have another little crane here with a searchlight on it. Okay, I wonder how that works. Okay, here we go. So crane, left and right, and then you have winch down and you also have a light. Okay, that's also very useful for maybe picking up something on the side of your boat. I'm a little worried about the capsizing because it obviously is going to one side. Uh, at the front, nothing else really. Let's go inside. Let's see what we've got. So he's got some equipment, firefighting, very useful. Uh, welding torch very good for repairing and then your medical equipment that you would need so that's the basic i would probably say that's the bare minimum you would need to do any mission uh what else just some lights in here let's go into the captain seat we got autopilot interesting uh autopilot steering compass throttle we got binoculars radio lights searchlight okay uh, we've got engine reverse water cannon okay sign that off for now we've got searchlight for perfect all right, so let's get this started. So one for the engine, and it seems like it just takes off by itself. Okay, don't really have to do anything. We've got searchlights that we can go and put on. So far, so good. It's actually relatively quick, funny enough. Uh, let's go see if we can increase that throttle. So 100% throttle, speed. Let's see what we get to in knots. Fuel, he's got about 3,000 liters of fuel, which is quite a bit. So we're doing about 40 knots, which is not bad for a little starter boat. See how it handles. Yeah, it seems like it's handling quite well. I'm guessing he has some type of stabilization system on this boat. Uh, you can see, yeah, there's some rudders there. So yeah, that works very well. Seems like it keeps itself at a really nice throttle and everything. Yeah, that's pretty good. Water cannon. So what do we use water cannon up, down, left and right? Okay, so the water cannon is quite useful too. Wow, wasn't expecting it to be that strong. So yeah, overall a very strong contender and very useful, looks like very practical and quite nice looking boat for a starter boat. Great, so a very good job with that. Let's go and move on to the next creation. And we have the next creation, which is a Star Trek creation done by Jerry Fanfan. Now, very interested to see how this one works. So, yeah, I think it has like the infinite generator. 
that he's using. So let's just try and understand what's going on. So it looks like he's got a magnet here at the back. He's also got some rope connectors, some lights, some heaters on the outside. Don't know why he's got heaters. Uh, we've got some equipment. So once again, very basic equipment. We've also got some seats here for some people. I'm slightly worried that if the waves were break, those people might drown. But okay. Uh, some lights here on the side. We also have something flashing there. Looks like water cannon in the front. Uh, another water cannon there. So let's try and get up on this. So F with a ladder. Uh, we've got a hatch here. So this is emergency exit. We can get in and close the door. So he's got another two seats here. Uh, I'm slightly worried about the height in the cabin, but it seems like you can walk around here. So teleporter indicating light stop flashing. Okay, some more seats, some more equipment that you would need. There is a locked in water. Okay, got some more equipment, pilot seat, and an instrument operator. So he's got a transporter range, fi range finder. Okay, we've got the passport is 29. Okay, I'm not too sure what that's for. Autopilot, very useful. Uh, navigations, submarine, autopilot submarine, okay, and lights. We've got horizontal thrust ratios, pilot seat. So we've got roll, we've got surface dive, okay, illumination flare, fluid cannon, horizontal speed, autopilot toggle, and rear docking magnet. I was on already, okay, so we should, in theory, that's go down and up. Can we go forwards? That goes down. So how do you go forwards then? Roll pitch. Okay, so horizontal thrust, I'm guessing. Something's beeping at us. I'm not too sure what that is. Okay, we are going really quickly. I actually don't know how he's doing the thrust. I'm guessing it's it's got some ties and things underneath there. But it is really quick. And theoretically, that's completely green because it's not using any fuel if i'm correct and you should we should be able to dive shouldn't we oh yeah we can go underwater too wow okay very interesting very very interesting it doesn't look to be the most stablest of creations oh but that's that's the roll sorry this is the pitch okay so with pitch it's fine it's it's just a very interesting creation. I, I feel like it might be slightly overcomplicated for a career boat. Although it's very it's green, which means it's not using any fuel, which is a good thing. But I'm slightly worried that like when we come to here, we actually have to be in the cab to slow ourselves down. Which is ever so slightly confusing. I would have liked to see that on a hotkey. Possibly. I don't think there is Oh no, he has, so he's got three and four. So three increases it and four decreases it. Okay, still, yeah, I guess I guess that works. I guess that does work. I don't know, it's a very interesting creation. Obviously, definitely out the box in terms of what we usually see. Um, seats, he seems to have got enough seats, got the equipment, he's got everything he's neat. So yeah, you guys let me know what you think about this one. Let's go and move on to the next creation. And moving on to the next creation, we have a boat done by Earl Wizkid. Now, very interesting design. Seems like he's got a fan there, and he's also got a water jet on it, which is something we usually don't see on starter boats. But yeah, let's just, just have a look and see what's going on in here. So, kind of like a race boat kind of design that he's got going on from what it looks like. Very interesting. Okay, let's jump on the back. Let's see what he's got going on. So, he's got this fan at the back. I don't know if that actually does any power. Very interesting to see. Got some equipment, some seating, uh, looks like refueling and recharging. Some more equipment, some more seating. The pilot seat, got a little screen here, which is pretty cool. So fuel, 1,397, system off, battery 99. E-pad, search beacon and radio channel, backup power. So on off, okay, that's pretty cool. Got a direction there, not too sure what this is. Oh, it's maybe a map overlay. Yeah, it looks like it. Okay, uh, let's go. Overdrive is two, GPS is four, radio six is lights. Okay, so you got some lights in the front of the boat. Let's go forwards. Oh, that's quick. The fan goes on two. Kind of like stays out the water there. 
Okay, very speed. I'm guessing that's speed there, 42. And this is a map, by the way, so that's pretty cool. It kind of stays in the water and then it doesn't stay in the water, which is quite interesting. Over Let's put an overdrive. But yeah, it does that, 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 that's flying. Is there any way for us to control the trim? No, this is just flying. That's no longer a boat. <laughs> what the? Yeah, that's not that's not a boat anymore. That's that becomes a plane. And take overdrive off. I would have liked to have seen it stay in the water. Although that is smart because you can travel around the map really quickly. Um, how's the fuel? Fuel looks fine, so it looks like it's doing really well on the fuel. It does like to jump a bit. So I'll be interested to see how this deals with waves. Let's just put that on. So... And it's not really part of the challenge, but wind is something you need to take into account. And, okay, it's not flipping or anything, but this isn't really a boat anymore, to be fair. It's now a plane. That jumps in the water um so yeah very interesting one but you guys let me know what you think of this one and if you think it's if this would be a viable option as a career boat in normal use i'm not too sure but very interesting creation definitely out the box uh let's go and move on to the next one and the next one we have is a boat train done by script source definitely something different <laughs> um very interesting I want to see how this works but yeah it looks like a train that's on floats so let's have a little walk around so it looks like he's got some rope anchors on the sides quite useful um, propeller at the back some fins for stabilization let's go and jump in here so not the easiest of things to jump into especially if you're carrying if you're carrying a person and you try to get up it's not the easiest I'd have liked to have seen the platform here at the back to jump onto. I know that if you don't have a person, you could just use F to jump in the seat. But if you're holding a person, it's going to be quite hard to get up on here. Uh, looks like he's got some equipment for refueling. Okay. Um, got other stuff there for first person stuff. Let's go in here. Okay, so he's got some medical equipment that's very useful. Light. And then he's got his seats here also for... Or people to put them inside there okay so that's where you would store people okay fair enough oh that's useful so power we got lights and heaters so that turns on both at the same time okay that's fine uh we have engine headlights engine okay so engine on okay so a nice idle little map here fuel 370 not the most but i could be very efficient uh let's do Okay, so throttles down here. <laughs> Steam even comes up the top. This thing flies. This is going really quickly. It's the speed. 25. Don't know if that's that knots. Maybe. Um, looks like he's got a cool stabilization system, which is perfect. <laughs> very, very unusual. Reverse. Reverse works perfectly. Seems like it wants to jump itself out of the water there, but... So, yeah, pretty good. Pretty good. I don't like, I, do, I never do like having throttles that you have to manually go and touch because, for example, like if you're over here and you're using third person mode, there's no way to do shortcuts. I would have liked to have seen him hook up W and S to that throttle because, like, if I'm here, I have to quickly go here and hope that I stop in time. So, yeah, but overall, besides that little thing with the engine, it's a really good creation. I would. I guess it is a boat still because it, its main thing is on water very interesting very very interesting creation um but yeah you guys let me know what you think about this one let's go and move on to the next creation and spawning in the next creation is done by president Donald trump now a very nice looking boat actually for search and rescue it looks like it's got everything it needs and it's obviously very classic type of style here so water can in the front it looks like we've got some lights and also some rope anchors canadian of course 
Um, little mast, some more lights here. Looks like we've got the back deck. We've got engines, what is using propellers. Okay, with exhaust there. A little winch system. Some more rope anchors. Let's jump on the back here. So we've got some equipment that we need. So definitely useful. We've got refueling over there. We've got a door that we can go and open and get in. Uh, seats here at the back for passengers, very useful. Let's close that. Uh, we have a little hatch here. So where does this go? So a little bed. Obviously that's useful for career. Uh, let's go back out here. What's that? Uh, we've got some night vision, radio, master key switch, sensors, temperatures, autopilot, lights, searchlights. Okay. The master on. Override will guzzle fuel. Okay, so about 640 liters of fuel. Quite useful. Uh, searchlights. Oh, that's powerful. They're a way to control the searchlights. Water cannon. Don't think so. No, those are. Oof, it's very bright. Okay. Uh, we've also got. So, water cannon mode. Okay, and that's up and down, left and right. Water cannon is always very useful on the starter boat. Okay. We've got cruise mode, hydrofoil mode. Hmm. Okay. Uh, let's go and get it started. So lights, so just the inside lights and outside navigation lights. Very useful. Cool. Okay, let's go increase throttle. Okay, so, so far so good. Looks really interesting. Ooh, it turns very quickly. Okay, so that's going. So cruise mode. We'll just want to keep its throttle, I'm guessing. Yeah, so cruise mode keeps its throttle. And then hydrofoil mode. So that lowers everything down. Do we get more speed out of this? Looks like it. Looks like it's picking up speed. Ooh, yeah, it's going quite quick. And it's picking up. RPS is picked up. We can even get overdrive on. Let's get overdrive on. Ooh, that's very quick. What? What speed are we doing? Shoo, that is quick. It's keeping itself nice and stable. It's not falling over either. I'm interested to see if I take hydrofoil mode off. <laughs> we just instant, almost instantaneously flipped. Uh, did I leave that? No, I closed that. Okay, so it went and rolled back over. That's very useful. Okay, I think we need to restart the engines. There we go. Let's do overdrive in this mode. And it just becomes a regular boat. So that's really impressive. I like I like the design of it. It looks like it looks very detailed, but at the same time it doesn't have that much going on. And it looks like a real boat. Um definitely something I think you could use for for career, I don't know about the fuel. If we took overdrive off, I think it will last much longer. It's got an autopilot system also, which is great. So yeah, really good. And I think you guys can let me know about this one. What do you guys think? I, I, I love it's got that like console boat kind of look to it, um, which is really cool. It does turn very sharply though. I guess that could be useful in certain situations. I didn't see a reverse mode though, anywhere, which is interesting. And also, oh no, you can just go back like that. Oop, killed the engine. There we go. Turn itself back on. Okay, so reverse works. Not even having change gear. It just does its own thing, which is quite smart. But yeah, lovely, lovely little creation, guys. Um, but yeah, let me know what you guys think of this one. And that's pretty much about it for the first part of the top 10 creations. Definitely keep an eye out for the next episode of the next part. Where we're going to be having a look at the next most voted for creations and also announcing a winner that video should be out later in the week um so definitely keep an eye out for that and as always i hope you have enjoyed this and found it some entertaining and informative as always and we'll see you in the next one <laughs>